Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aries. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aries. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy temple of yours, Aries, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels and your ancestors have here for you today. Shout out to the evolving spirits and shout out to the beautiful Patreon soul family gang gang. I appreciate each and every one of you all soul tribe and thank you so much for allowing me to assist each and every one of you all along your spiritual path and journey as well. All right. And this week we are focusing in on the color orange. Yes, I have definitely have been enjoying eating orange fruit and vegetables. Oranges are one of my favorite favorite fruit okay one of them all right i have several different ones that i like but i definitely love oranges you can't go wrong with an orange right <laughs> but yes thank you all so much for your comments and your feedback down below realms no further ado let's dive into your reading here today all right we're first going to start with an oracle message here from your guardian angels and your ancestors course we're going to dive into tarot land here and see what's going on in tarot and we'll close out with my raw tarot index cards here to get more insight and details regarding you all's reading here today all right so no further ado let's dive in realms wow we got go for it okay whatever this is your guarded angels and your ancestors they got your back okay they want you to go for it just take that leap of faith that's your energy all day every day right it's reminding me of the food card where he's jumping off the cliff once again and taking that leap of faith there so whatever this is that you may have been thinking about or wanting to manifest or even create yourself i see you're in your creative energy here in the sacral chakra as well which is the color orange chakra that we're working on this week so yes get creative go for it you got this okay rather what that is to you because it's going to be different for everyone right this could be going for a new opportunity within your career something that you're going to start and do a different project here this could be a new project something you've never done before all right some of y'all this could be someone you're going to go into a relationship with that you never you know dated a person like this before or done something with your partner like this before I'm getting something new that you haven't never experienced, but you want to go for, but you're kind of like nervous about it at the same time and regarding whatever that is and how that resonates for you. But go for it, Rams, all right? So no further ado, let's dive into Tarot Land. Let's see what's going on here in your past. Wow, the Emperor, what was going on here in the past, right? Some of you all taking ownership of your establishment, something that, again, that you may have created. Some of you all may be entrepreneurs and have your own business establishment here, all right? Or this is something that you're wanting to do or you're thinking about doing and your guardian angels want you to go for it. Maybe you're wanting to go and get some type of certification so that way you can establish your own business, all right? Uh, this is something that you may have been working on here in your past. Others of you all, you have a emperor or an empress that is around you in your energy here. This could be an Aries like yourself, Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. All right, I'm also getting here, I want to say, okay, Aquarius as well. But I also want to say Taurus as well, because this could be an empress or an emperor. All right, but wow, those other zodiac signs consist on coming out as well, Ram. So that could be significant for someone. So wow, interesting there. Let's see what's going on here in your presence, your present moment. We got here the nine of wands, overcoming obstacles and challenges. So the good news here is that you made it. You might feel tired. <laughs> Some of y'all may feel like you've overwhelmed yourself or you're just tired at this time, okay? You're coming to an end of a cycle. A lot of you all may feel yourselves transforming into something again because there's a lot of new energy here. So you're killing off a lot of, metaphorically speaking, not literally killing 
anything or any, or anyone, but meaning that you're putting an end to patterns or ways of doing things or routines that no longer resonate for you. You're putting down um, situations and circumstances, rather this is with a person, place, or thing that you no longer resonate with and you're done fighting this battle or going back and forth in your head here all right rather that's with this emperor or this empress or this person here some of y'all are putting a relationship here that you may felt like was overwhelming here to an end and you're going towards something new for yourselves is what i'm also picking up here Wow, very interesting here, Rams. Let's see what's going on in the future. Let's see what all of this reflection and creating energy has brought you to here in your future. Wow, judgment. You being able to be not only in a position where you can reflect back on the choices that you stuck with and kept the faith with and you made and you just actually went for it right you're going to be given some type of gift or some type of opportunity here from the universe i'm picking up here okay uh they're definitely calling out all the garden angels and ancestors here as you can see here and they're headed your way okay this could be to get you on the track that you need to be or coming to assist you here all right, because something here is going to be, I feel like, brought to your attention because you've closing out a chapter here or putting something down that has been overwhelming or you maybe had to deal with this situation for quite some time here. And so as this is getting put to an end, all right, or there is some type of situation here that it was being getting a reality check here or awakening here, something in that type of energy here, okay? So this may even be for this emperor or this empress here. This is also Aries energy, which is your energy as well here, all right? But definitely loves, I feel like whatever this is, you are finally done with it. You don't no longer have to deal with it or go through it or feel this certain way that it may be had you feeling here in the past, okay? And this is why your guardian angels and your ancestors like, look, go for it. This is like almost like a one, one time opportunity here is what I'm picking up. Either whatever this is here, Aries, that is coming your way. Wow. So just make sure that you are intuitively aware, okay? Because this is something spiritually here that I feel like could be a download or something here that you get or you get some type of vision in your head or through your dreams, okay? However, your guardian angels know that you will receive the message, okay? So just making sure that you're kind of spiritually in tune this week with yourself. Make sure that you're balanced and grounded so you don't miss the message here for some of you all. All right, so very interesting. I love it, Rams, okay? If you love it, don't forget to hit that like button, loves. Let's now use my raw tarot index cards here and get more insight and details. Let's see what are the energies here that are surrounding you at this time. All right, definitely again, if the reading so far has fulfilled your spirit and resonate for you, Aries. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, like, subscribe. We would love to have you here, Aries, a part of our soul family. And be sure to adjust your notification bell, loves, all right? I do go live throughout the week for all Zodiac sign readings, Aries. If you would love to stop by and get a check in there before you get your day started, okay? And if you would love to book a personal reading, my email detail is down below in the description box, all right? Wow, let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, this is the energy that I was feeling the whole entire time. Oh my goodness, I love how my index cards can reflect the energies or what we were channeling and picking up in your reading here this whole entire time. I love having to save these the best for last because it helps me to get more of an understanding as well for the reading, okay? So this is what I was picking up because again, this is the number nine, all right? Some of y'all could be seeing the number nine that could be very significant, all right, you definitely have something here that's being put to an end here with the judgment card here. And this is why Spirit is saying, go for it. You got a new opportunity is what I was feeling early when I kept mentioning that something new is what you're doing or taking this leap of faith towards here. And it's actually coming, all right, because it's time for new things. So your guardian angels want you to go for it. 
okay wow i love it i love how my tarot cards can be on point okay definitely if you love the messages that come from my raw tarot index cards here i have just for you set up a fans only page where i use only my raw tarot index cards to help bring more insights and understanding and peace to the readings that i do here on youtube especially for the ones that's not too much savvy with tarot right uh you do get that opportunity to get an energy check-in before i even post a reading here on youtube so you kind of can get a feel of what the energy is going to be like and what the reading is going to be about before i post it here on youtube and that's for all only fans page users as well so definitely loves take advantage of that it's awesome we have such a good time there getting those messages out the messages be hilarious okay majority of the time and if you're a part of the patreon soul family you also get those messages there as well okay so let's uh oh let's see what else came out here what else we have here it's going to be okay all right so know that some of y'all you may be nervous about this again because this is something new that you are starting or maybe even launching your own business or uh, whatever this is that you're wanting to manifest here, right? This is a partner, a place, or a thing, honey, okay? I know it could be scary sometimes because you've never done it. But once you take that leap of faith, you'll be glad that you did. Wow. And then we have I Get Lonely, all right? So some people may feel left out in a cold because you're doing something that this person may wouldn't have never imagined you to do or the fact that, you know, sometimes you inspire others, just you taking a leap of faith, okay, is what I'm picking up here. Wow. We have, I'm telling the truth, okay? So someone here wants you to know that they are telling the truth, or maybe once you decide to leave a situation or this emperor empress over here, all right, and you move forward with your life, maybe even your relations, um, and someone here is maybe wanting to try to close out a message with you or have some type of heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you is what I'm picking up here, right? And they want you to know that they're telling the truth here, all right? Wow, yeah, we got you make me weak here. Okay, I don't try not to laugh, but I feel like this person here, just the thought of you or just being around you, you really uh, make this person feel in that sense of feeling weak. So you really draw this person's attention into you or they you are drawn into them that's how they feel about you okay yeah that's what i'm trying to say here i put you first <laughs> come through index cards oh my goodness it helps explain what i'm trying to channel out for you <laughs> okay so basically they're in a nutshell aries this person puts you first in their mind they put you first so they've always put you first and wanted to put you first okay so rather this is someone new here or someone from your past here okay yeah look at that i miss our talks and conversations and kisses and such and such and such and such right this person definitely wants to talk to you someone really misses you clearly for others of you all this is someone from your past here that just miss being around you being in your space having these heart to heart again conversations that you two may have always had here and kissing your lips may be very significant to this person this person may have complimented you or your lips when you all are kissing here as well is what i'm picking up okay oh so sweet there aries well that is what we have for you i want to leave this portion of the reading here so i don't um scatter the energies too far out but definitely if the messages here resonate for you aries again don't forget to like subscribe we would love to have you here a part of our soul family and shout out to you so tribe gang gang i appreciate each and every one of you all and i definitely look forward to the next week in tarot and make sure if you're not go ahead and subscribe to the only fans page so that way you can get your energy check-ins right now okay i love you i'll see you over there and i'll talk to you all soon rams Mwah. bye bye